What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Toot back with part two of my shoe collection, man. If y'all haven't seen part one, make sure y'all go check it out. The video going crazy right now. It's got like 3,000 views and it's only been like two and a half days. So make sure y'all go check this video out, man. Enter the giveaway. If y'all don't know by now, man, I'm giving away a brand new pair of Nike off white dunks right here, the red and gray colorway. So if you want a chance to win these right here, they are brand new, size 12. All you gotta do, subscribe to this channel. So if this is your first time seeing me, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like this video, follow me on Instagram at 23.buckets. It will be on the screen, probably like right here or right here. I forgot which side. But um, make sure y'all do that. And also, go follow my business page on Instagram, my clothing brand page. It's called Me and Mindset Apparel, but I will have the name in the description so you can figure out how to spell it and type it and stuff like that. Make sure y'all go do all those four steps right there. And then once you get done, all you gotta do is send me proof. Just send me the proof that you did all that and you entered into the giveaway. And um, the winners will be picked when I drop part three of this video. So by the time you see part three of this video, the winners will be picked in that video. So make sure y'all stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and be watching out for part three. But yeah, man, y'all already know how this goes, so we finna hop straight into it. Let's go. First up, for part two, man, we got these Yeezys right here. I think these called the Clays. Hold on, they ain't focusing right. Let me get it to focus so y'all can see the real color. But yeah, this is the real color right here. And I think these are called the Clays, the 350 Clays, the V2 Clays. And um, I really like these because y'all know orange is my favorite color. And like it's like a khaki and an orange colorway. And that just look real nice, real dope. And I, I wear these a lot actually. But yo, yo, y'all know Yeezys are really comfortable. I got like six pair of Yeezys, I want to say. So y'all love Yeezys, man. Especially the 350s. They just look nice. I just love the way they feel. Love the way they look. And um, you can wear it with shorts, jeans, anything. So I love the 350 V2s. Next up, we got a pair of Jordans right here. And these are the Jordan 14s. The, um, what these shoes called? I really forgot what these called, but these are the 14s right here. If I think of them, I'll let y'all know. But y'all know, y'all, I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Oh, the GM Red 14s, yeah, I just thought about them. The GM Red 14s right here, I got these right here. Um, I do like 14, this is my only pair at the moment. I used to have a different pair, like a long time ago, but I got rid of them because they were so beat. But um, yeah, this is my only pair of 14s that I have currently. And they do look nice though, I wear these quite a lot too. A lot of people got these too though. If y'all got these, let me know down in the comments y'all get the Gen Red 14s. Next up, we got another pair of Jordans, man. Right here, we got the Jordan 6, the DMPs. These came out in 2020, I wanna say, so last year, the DMP Jordan 6s. These are hard right here. A lot of people do not have these. Like, I'm surprised that a lot of people don't have, I don't know if it's just because they were limited or because people may, I don't know, I don't know if a lot, I think a lot of people just slipped on these, but these are super hard though. Like, I really don't see too many people wearing these. But I do love these right here, and they really simple, but they really clean at the same time. I love wearing gold, and um, so the gold dog tag that is really nice with the little jump man on it, and like the colorway is just real nice. And I love sixes too, the Jordan sixes. I love this style, and they always I like I like wearing these with jeans. I don't really like wearing them with shorts. They look alright with shorts, but I think they look better with jeans when you put your um pants over the tongue. But this is my preference though. Everybody, you know, everybody different. But these right here, the Jordan 6, the DMP. Next up, we got a pair of 13s right here. And these are probably my favorite 13s in my collection. Because y'all know, like I said, orange is my favorite color. So, you know, the white and orange colorway. This colorway go crazy. Let me get it to focus so y'all can see right there. Um, these are called the Starfish 13s. I did a review on these. And their review got like 20,000 views on this, on just this shoe right here. So, I know this was a, like... A popular shoe, but I really don't see too many people with these shoes though. They hard though, like they super hard. Like, well, they super hard to me because like orange is my favorite color. So when they put a pair of orange 13s out, I had to grab those. I was like, this is just crazy. Like, I don't know, it just look good to me. I just love that bright orange. But yeah, man, a pair of 13s right here, the Starfish 13s. Next up, we got another pair of 13s, and this is the white and blue colorway. It's the same exact shoe, it's just instead of orange, it's blue. And these came out a while ago, actually. I can't remember exactly when, but it was a while ago when they came out. And um, they're kind of dirty, you can't really tell on camera, but they just need to be cleaned up. They ain't too bad. I just need to clean my laces. I need to buy me some more laces to go in because they're kind of yellowing. And um, I can clean them though. Y'all want to see a video of me showing y'all how to clean uh, white laces? Y'all let me know down in the comments because I know how to clean laces too. But yeah, these right here, these 13s, I forgot what they call. Still, we got a pair of Jordan 1s right here, the Bio Hex. These came out a couple months ago. And um, I wore these like one or two times, I can't remember. They're all right. They ain't the best looking Jordan 1, but they're different. That's the reason I went with these. Like they different, you don't see this, this, this colorway a lot, I guess. Cause it's like a unique style, unique color. And they just have like a lot of different colors on it. I don't know. It was just different when I first seen it, I was like, I might as well just go ahead and cop these cause they different, you know, you don't see these every day. And they will bring a lot of attention to your feet though. There's one thing about these. But yeah, man, the drone wants the bio hacks right here. Next up, we got a pair of phones right here. And we got these gold phone posits. These are my favorite phone posits. I only have two pair though, but these are my favorite by far because like I said, I love wearing gold. 
and the black and the shiny metallic gold would just look real nice. I had these shoes for like five years now. Like these shoes came out a while back. And I used to wear these shoes like when I was in school, I used to wear these a lot. Like every every week I would throw these shoes on at least one time. So I know I was wearing these shoes a lot. And they still in good condition. Like that's one thing I love about foam pies. You can't really mess them up or this color where you really can't, because you know you got the black gum bottoms. Not gum, I mean you got the black bottoms with the carbon fiber and the gold on the side. Like you can't really get them dirty because anytime you do, you can just wipe them straight off and they just like basically brand new. But yeah, I love this color right here. I got two pair of phones. Next up, we got my other pair of phones right here and these are the aqua phones. And um, these are clean too, but these just, I just like the gold ones better. But I don't wear these as much as I wear the gold ones and they still already like yellowing. So that's why I really don't try to wear these that much because I want to keep them like icy. But they started yellow because I was wearing them. But um, I ain't warm in a while. Maybe I need to bring these back out. They clean though, don't get me wrong. Like these phones clean right here. The um aqua phones. I do need to get some more phones though, but I think they kind of overpriced to me. Like they'd be like 250 for a pair of phone pods. I'd be like, dang, because you know joints like 190, so I might as well just get a pair of joints. But phone pods do look nice though. They really simple, but they do like look nice. Next up, we got a pair of joints right here, the joint fives, the auction of grace. These shoes, like, they tough. I love joint fives and this purple suede is just like it's super clean, super dope. And like this colorway is one of my favorite on the Jordan 5. Like you just, you can't go wrong with these. Like the, just look at this suede. This suede is really clean, man. It's really nice. Really like, I don't know. It's just, I just love that purple suede. I love the, um like the Charlotte Hornets colorway, like the purple and the teal. And they put them on the pair of J's right here, the alternate grapes. So I definitely had to cop these right here. They're really nice, really clean. Y'all know a lot of people got these too though. So. Y'all let me know if y'all got these down in the comments. Next up, we got a pair of Jordan 12s, the University Gold Jordan 12s. I got these a while back. These are clean as well. I wore these quite a few times, but they're still in good condition, as you can see. Like, I was telling y'all, I keep my shoes in real good condition, like, even if I do wear them. I try to keep them clean. I don't. I try not to crease them, you know, not too much. And these are still in good condition, as you can see. And they're real clean, too. I love Jordan 12s. And um, this colorway. It's probably my favorite in my collection. My favorite joint twelve in my collection. Next up, we got a pair of joint ones, and um, these are called the Zooms, I think. But uh, let me get it to focus. I don't know if I wore these. I think I did wear these one time. I can't remember where I wore them too, but I do think I remember wearing these right here um, one time. But the Zoom Racer Blues, that's what they call it. yeah, the Zoom Racer Blues, the joint ones. Like I was telling you, I love joint ones, and um, yeah, I did wear these one time. As you can see on the outside, it's kind of like a little dirty. You know, it ain't super icy. But these shoes are nice right here, the joint ones, the Zoom Racer Blues. I don't wear them that much, but maybe I should because they really clean. I'm going to have to bring them out for the summer. Next up, we got another pair of joint ones, and I have not worn these yet. I know for a fact I haven't worn these because every time I think about wearing them, I just put them back for some reason. I don't know. But I got one with white laces and one with black. I need to change them both to um, black laces. I like the black ones better. But I had put white in just to see how it would look. But I think I like black laces better than these right here. Y'all let me know down in the comments which laces you think look better, the black or the white ones. This is the white one right here, and this is the black one. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, which one look better. Personally, I think the black list a little better, but I need y'all to let me know down in the comments. Next up, we got another pair of Jordan 13s. We got the Lucky Green 13s. Um, like I was telling y'all, I love 13s. They're really simple, but they all really be clean though, like no matter what color you put on it. The only ones I really want that I ain't got is the white and the purple ones. Y'all know, like the Lakers colorway they had, the white right here and the purple right here. I need those. I didn't get a chance to get them, but, um, I'm gonna get them in the future, you better believe that, cause they super hard, I gotta add them to the collection. But the Lucky Green 13s right here, these are hard as well, you can't go wrong with 13s, man. I can wear them with this shirt right here if I wanted to. Next up, we got another pair of 13s, and I didn't realize how many pair of 13s that I had until now, like I'm doing my shoe collection, I didn't realize I had as many. But I think these are the Island Green 13s. I can't remember the exact name, I'm pretty sure these are called the Island Green 13s, they just look like it for some reason, cause of that Island Green color, you know. And um, basically it's like an aqua, blue, and black. These are hard too. I wore these. I wore these a lot actually. They're kind of dirty. I need to clean them, but it's kind of hard to clean them because I got them dirty on the suede part, and that was my mistake because I really shouldn't. Have, I really should have been more careful when I wore these. But you can see, it got like a little snake skin or crocodile pattern right here on the side leather part, and you know, you got the little aqua blue on the rest of the part. But um, these shoes are clean though, man. The um, Island Green 13s right here. You can't go wrong with these. All right, next up we got the top three fives right here, man. These are hard. You can't go wrong with these. Of course, they're the top three fives put in one shoe. So, yeah, you know they was going to be clean when they put them together, man. But yeah, I need to start wearing these more because I really don't wear them that much. But they are nice, though. You can't go wrong with them. I just need to clean them up because I did get the suede dirty. Like, the black suede is kind of like ashy because I got them dirty. But yeah, I just need to clean them up and they're going to be good to go. Next up, we got the Travis Scott 6s. 
And these are hard, man. I really love the sixes right here. Like the Travis Scott sixes. These go crazy. I need to wear these a lot more, actually. I ain't wore these in a couple months. And now that I got them in hand, I'm realizing like I need to bring these back out because they're super tough. And they're super comfortable too. I love these right here. They, they just, I don't know, they seem more comfortable than the rest of my sixes for some reason. And I heard they're supposed to be coming out with some more Travis Scott sixes. It's supposed to be like a khaki colorway. And you already know, I'm gonna get them. So when, when they drop, I'm definitely getting those. <laughs> but yeah, man, the Travis Scott sixes right here. You can't go wrong with these right here. They're super hard. Had to put these in the collection. Cactus Jack, as y'all can see on the back. This side says Nike Air. But um, yeah, man, these shoes clean. I love the Travis Scott sixes. Next up, we got a pair of Jordan 9s, the Dream It Do It Jordan 9s. I remember getting these a while back. It was a long time ago, actually. My parents bought these for me. But yeah, the Dream It Do It Jordan 9s. Uh, this is probably one of the few Jordan 9s that I have in my collection. I need to expand my Jordan 9 collection because, like I said, I don't have that many. But these are here. I really love these, the Dream It Do It. Got the different colors on the back, you know, different colors. But yeah, they need to be cleaned up a little bit, and then I can bring these back out because it really ain't nothing wrong with them. Just a little few spots where I see they can be cleaned up and freshened up. But these right here are super hard. Can't go wrong with these though. I need to bring these back out. Next up, we got these Air Force One, the Volt ones. They need to be cleaned up because you can see the bottom's kind of dirty. But these shoes right here are so bright. And um, they're just super bright, man. Just <laughs> I didn't realize how bright they was. They hard though. I like them. I need to bring these back out, especially for the summer too, because you know, bright color. I like to wear bright colors in the summer. Just y'all can just see like these shoes are super bright. But yeah, man, I forgot what these called. I think I think they just called the Volt Air Force Ones, but yeah, this is another pair of F01s that I have in my collection right here. Next up, we got the Jordan 6s, the Carmines right here. I got these, I want to say a month ago. I had to get these. These were hard. Like, Can't go wrong with the Carmines. This is my first time ever having a pair of Carmines. Um, I know they came out. I can't remember the last time they came out besides recently. But um, yeah, I know they've been out before, maybe a few times. But this was my first time actually getting a pair of Carmines. So I was really excited about these. I definitely had to cop these right here. And uh, I'm going to keep these clean for a while. I had worn them one time, but I'm definitely going to keep these clean. I'm not going to beat these up. Next up, we got some more Travis Scotts, man. We got the Travis Scott ones this time. And this is another clean colorway as well. These will grab a lot of attention when you wear these right here. The Travis Scott ones. They're really comfortable. They're really nice. I love these right here. Like, you can wear these with a lot of stuff too. Because, you know, like the khaki and the brown colorway. And they just look real nice. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen these because these were like really popular when they came out. Next up, we got a pair of Jordan 12s, man. The Indigo 12s. I think these are called the Indigo 12s. They're kind of dirty on the white part. You can't really see it on camera if it, unless it focuses. There you go. You can kind of see it's kind of a little dirty, but that'll be easy to clean. I just got to take time to clean them up, and these will be basically like brand new. Um, I wore these a few times. I do love this colorway too. This, um, like this blue, I guess it's called indigo because that's what the shoe called, indigo blue, with um the white right there on the bottom. But yeah, man, these 12 look nice right here. Next up, we got the Jordan 11 Lows. I think these called the Jim Reds, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. But I know these are the 11 Lows. Um, I wasn't a fan of 11 lows, but when I seen these, I was like, I might as well try them. And I actually ended up liking these a lot. Like, I wore these, I wore these, I don't know how many times I wore these, but I did wear them a few times. And they really started to grow on me. I really like them. They're really comfortable. They're different. I like the 11 lows. Hopefully, they come out with some more 11 lows pretty soon. Um, I know they came out with the Concord 11 lows. I don't have those. There's some more that they came out with. But I don't, these, only, these are the only 11 lows that I have. I plan on giving me some more in my collection. Like I said, I do like these. I think they look real nice. Next up, we got a pair of Jordan 1 Lows. And I got two pair of these. And I really don't know where my other pair at right now. I don't know. I'll find them later. But these right here, they need to be cleaned up. Um, I really don't wear these. Like, with an outfit, I wear these, like, if I'm going to go outside in the rain or something. Because I really, really don't. I don't know. I really just got these because my school was black and gold when I was in high school. And I just needed something to wear, like, on game days. When we had to wear, like, a black and gold shirt. So I just got these. They were, like, $100 so. I don't even think it was a hundred. I think it was ninety dollars. So I just grabbed these. So I really don't wear them that much no more. Um, they kind of dirty, beat up. I need to clean them up a little bit. But it really don't matter because I really don't wear them no more. But yeah, I still got them. The Jordan One Lows, the Metallic Gold. I think that's what they call. It. Next up, we got a pair of Yeezys right here. The Three Fifty V Twos. Um, another pair. And from here on out, and the rest of this part two, all the rest of these shoes gonna be Yeezys. So if you like Yeezys, make sure y'all stick around. But we got the bread Yeezys right here. Uh, I had to cop these. I really love Yeezys. I wanted me an all black colorway. And this one right here was like the perfect one for me because I love wearing black and red. As you can see, like, I can wear this with this shirt I got on now. I wear black and red a lot, so these worked out perfectly for me. And like I said, Yeezys are really comfortable. They are the most comfortable shoes that I have in my collection. Yeezy 350s. Next up, we got another pair of 350s. And these are the semi-frozen yellows. These were my first pair of Yeezys that I ever got right here. The Yeezy 350s, semi-frozen yellows. So, yeah, I'm definitely never gonna get rid of these because like I said, this was my first pair of Yeezys that I ever got. And I remember getting these, I got had to get up early and like 
I was on the internet super early and I got lucky and I ordered these for retail. They were 220, I remember. And uh, yeah, so I caught these right here, the semi frozen yellows. Probably not my favorite colorway, but I really like them because you know they're my first pair, so I'm definitely gonna keep these right here. So we got the core red uh Yeezys right here, some more 350s, and um yeah man, the core red colorway. It's like a infrared stripe and this rest of the shoe is black. And I really love this colorway. This is probably one of my favorites in my collection as far as Yeezys. I love this colorway right here. It's just real bright and um, it just looks nice. So yeah, I love these right here, the core red. Next up, we got these Yeezys right here, the 350s, some more 350s. And I forgot all about these. I forgot what they called. So I ain't even finna make, I ain't even finna make a name up for y'all because I really don't know what they call. I really forgot. But I do remember getting these right here. It's some kind of crazy name that I really can't even say. So I ain't even gonna say nothing because I don't want y'all to be laughing and stuff. Well, I really don't care, but uh, I don't know what these called. Um, the Yeezy 350s. Just I just know they 350 Yeezys, and they clean to me. I really don't know what the name is. I just like the way they look, all the colors on them, and uh, yeah, they different. So I definitely had to cop these right here. So yeah, this is the last pair of 350s in my collection. Now I'm gonna show y'all two pair of Yeezy 700s. Okay, like I said, I got two pair of shoes left, and next up we got a pair of Yeezy 700s right here. I forgot what these called too, but um. I was gonna say the Wave Runners, but these are not the Wave Runners. These are the Wave Runners right here, and this is my last pair of shoes I'm gonna show y'all. But these are the last two right here. We got these, these 700s. I don't know what they call. I forgot they're gray, and they got the orange in it. Y'all know orange is my favorite color, so I just caught them because I really don't know what they call. I just like the way they look. And then we got the Wave Runner. This is probably like one of the most popular 700s because a lot of people know what these are. Um, I think this was the first colorway of 700s that ever came out, the Wave Runners. And they're really not that special. They don't really. I don't know, either you like them or you love them. I just got them because of the hype, and I ended up liking them when I was wearing them. Like, they're comfortable, but the 350 V2s are definitely more comfortable than the 700, but these are comfortable, don't get me wrong. Yeah, man, that's gonna do it for part two of my shoe collection, man. So if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, man. Make sure y'all go enter the giveaway. I'm telling you, I got like 100 people already in the giveaway, so make sure y'all enter the giveaway. You got a good chance of winning it. Yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for part three. And hopefully I can just get the rest of my shoes in part three, but I really don't know. I might have to end up doing a part four because I really got that many shoes. Like, I got a lot of shoes, man. I didn't even realize how many shoes I had until I start doing this video. And it's like, it's overwhelming. I don't know. Once again, I want to thank y'all for 30,000 subscribers, man. We're on the road to 50K right now. We already at 31K as we speak. So um, by the time this video get out, hopefully we at 32K. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to grow that fast, but hey, we might be. So. Thank y'all. Keep subscribing to the channel. Keep watching my videos. Keep liking them. Keep supporting. And also go follow me on Instagram, man. Thank y'all for watching.